In Activity 5, Observing the Fruit Fly, students track the development of their fruit flies. They first observe the egg, larval, and pupal life stages of fruit flies, then summarize the changes that occur at each stage. Finally, students speculate on the progression of steps in the complete life cycle. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 5, Parts A and B, a magnifier, and fruit fly life cycle pictures. You will also need to provide the fruit fly culture. To prepare for Session 1, make a copy of Activity Sheet 5, Part A, for each student. For each team of two, make a copy of the fruit fly egg picture included in the fruit fly life cycle picture set. To begin Session 1, distribute Activity Sheet 5, Part A, to each student and instruct teams of two to retrieve their fruit fly vials and a magnifier. Ask students, what do you see in your vial? Instruct students to examine and compare different vials and take note of any changes that have occurred. Students may note that a few of the adult fruit flies have died. Use this observation to reinforce that it is natural for living things to complete their life cycles and die. Then, tell teams to complete question one and draw a picture listing the characteristics of their fruit flies. Refer students to the chart, Characteristics of Living, Non-Living, and Dead Things, and ask, what characteristics of living things have you observed so far in the fruit flies? Students should have observed that the flies eat and move around. Then ask, what characteristics of living things have we not observed in the fruit flies? Explain that it is impossible to see fruit flies breathing because they are so small. Point out that one remaining characteristic on the chart is can reproduce. If necessary, define this as the ability to have babies or create new life. Inform students that an egg is the female reproductive cell and the first stage in the life cycle of some organisms. Explain that the female fruit flies have laid eggs on the surface of the food in order to reproduce. If any fruit fly eggs are visible in the vials, point them out. Distribute a fruit fly egg picture to each team and instruct students to complete question two of Activity Sheet 5, Part A. Then ask, what do you think will happen to the egg? Have students write their predictions on their activity sheets. Encourage students to continue their daily observations, noting changes on their activity sheets. To conclude Session 1, have students return their vials, magnifiers, and file folders to the designated area. To prepare for Session 2, make a copy of Activity Sheet 5, Part B, for each student and make a copy of the fruit fly larva picture included in the fruit fly life cycle picture set for each team of two. To begin Session 2, have teams retrieve their fruit fly vials and magnifiers from the designated area and give them time to make new observations. Ask students what changes do you notice in your vials? Students should be able to identify the white, worm-like larvae. They may also notice that the surface of the food material appears choppy, that the larva does not have legs or wings, and that the larva can crawl but cannot fly. Explain to the class that larva is the first stage after the hatching of the animal that undergoes metamorphosis. Ask students, where do you think these larvae came from? Students may be able to speculate that the eggs hatched and the larvae came out. Next, refer students to the chart Characteristics of Living, Non-Living, and Dead Things and ask which characteristics of living things can you observe in the larvae. Students should have observed that the larvae can move, eat, and grow. Then, distribute to each student a copy of Activity Sheet 5, Part B, and to each team a copy of the fruit fly larva picture.
instructs students to use the pictures as well as their own observations to complete question three of the activity sheet. Ask students what might happen to the larva next. At this point, accept all reasonable predictions. Encourage students to write their predictions to complete question three and to work together to record daily observations, noting changes on their activity sheets. To conclude session two, have students return their vials, magnifiers, and science journals to the designated area. To prepare for session three, make a copy of the fruit fly pupa picture included in the fruit fly life cycle picture set for each team of two. To begin session three, have teams retrieve their fruit fly vials and magnifiers. Then ask students, what changes can you notice in your vials? Students should be able to identify the hard yellow cases of the pupae affixed to the walls or inside lids of their vials. Inform students that pupa is the stage of development between the larva and adult that organisms undergo during metamorphosis. Ask students, where do you think these pupae came from? Students may be able to speculate that the larvae crawled to a certain place and formed a hard shell around themselves. Refer students to the chart, Characteristics of Living, Non-Living, and Dead Things. Ask students, what characteristics of living things can you observe in the pupae? Students should note that the pupae do not appear to be alive, or that the pupae seem to be resting or sleeping. Distribute a copy of the fruit fly pupa picture to each team and instruct students to use the pictures as well as their own observations to complete question four of activity sheet five, part B. Then ask what might happen to the pupa next. At this point, accept all reasonable predictions. Have students write their predictions to complete question four. Encourage team members to work together to record daily observations, noting changes on their activity sheets. Finally, inform students that in activity six, plant growth, they will observe the growth and development of a pea seedling. To conclude session three, have students return their vials, magnifiers, and file folders to the designated area and return the fruit fly life cycle pictures to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.